Hey there, this is Alula LV. Thank you so much for joining today's video. We'll be taking a look at what's new at Louis Vuitton this month, including drop one of the Cruise collection. This was just released in stores. We'll also be taking a look at the Capsule Collection LV Night. This is a beautiful collection of evening bags and ready to wear, which will be perfect for your holiday party looks. We'll also take a look at some new bags and new colors that have been released this month, including the somewhat controversial new George's Toe as pictured here on the right side of the screen. We'll also be previewing the Lunar Collection that we'll be releasing later this month and December for the Year of the Dragon. And we will preview the holiday packaging that should be coming in stores at the end of this month. Louis Vuitton's new Color Mania collection was also released earlier this month. However, we won't be looking at that collection in this video because I've already previewed it in a separate video, which I will link to in case you missed it. Now, let's get into all of these new releases. Let's start by looking at the Cruise Collection. This released on November 3rd, and this is just drop one. There will be a second drop for Cruise in January. So let's take a look at what's come out this month. And here we see the Atlantis in the GM and BB size. This is available only in the colorway seen here, the monogram and reverse monogram. Here you can see the bag worn over the shoulder as well as styled like a little dumpling with the handles crossed over each other. New canvas bags also include the Excursion PM. This is quite pricey for a canvas backpack. It's $3,350 US dollars. Here we can see the backpack styled. It can be worn over the shoulder, which is a little bit of versatility that you don't typically see in a backpack. However, even with that versatility, I still think the price tag is pretty high. I would personally recommend going for a Montsoris instead. It's been discontinued in Canvas at Louis Vuitton, but you can get it pre-loved in Canvas. If you're interested in buying things pre-loved, I have to quickly mention I am doing a $400 store credit giveaway with Rebecca B Luxury. So check out that video. I'll link to it here if you would like to enter that giveaway. It will be open until November 24th of this year. Now back to the Louis Vuitton new releases. Another canvas bag, although it is actually technically a trunk, is the Venus. And this is very pricey. It's a cute little bag shaped like a seashell, reverse monogram on the back side, regular monogram on the front. And this is a hard sided bag. So that's why the price tag is so high. This is priced at $5,550. US dollars. Let's move on now to leather bags, and we have a lot of current styles in new colors. First, we have the Go 14 in the MM size. This is priced at $6,750. We have it in three new colors, a beautiful ethereal gray, a light pink, and a Tiffany blue. Here we see this new gray color styled in a photo shoot. We also see the new Tiffany blue and light pink colors. Of course, it's not called Tiffany blue. It's called Lagoon, but just so we have an accurate description, that's what I would call it. It's that Tiffany blue color. We also have the Pico Go 14 in the new gray. This is priced at $4,450. This bag is so tiny, unless you are a mini and micro bag person, I would recommend something else like this instead. This is the Alma BB priced at $4,450. This is very expensive for an Alma BB, but it is fully leather lined, just like all of the Go 14s 
are fully leather lined. It does also have this malotage quilting on the outside. So not only is the bag fully leather lined and it's quilted, it also has this piping sewn over the quilting, which is a very labor and time intensive process. You can also get this same style in a smaller size. The Nano Alma is available in Lagoon, priced at $3,350, and all of these bags are only available in these specific sizes and colorways shown here. Here's a mini comparison, no pun intended, of the Go 14 Pico, Nano Alma, and Alma BB. Personally, I would recommend going with one of the Almas over the Pico. The Pico Go 14 is super tiny. It won't fit a phone unless maybe you have a mini size phone. So for the price points, I would personally recommend the Alma over the Pico Go 14, but moving on to another style, we do also have the Petite Mall available in the Cruise Collection. This is priced at $6,200, which is actually very well priced considering the regular, like standard Petite Mall in Monogram Canvas is priced at $5,700. This is a very small markup for a Malatage printed leather version. This collection also includes gorgeous high-end bags, including the Sea Treasure Petite Mall, priced at $10,500. This bag is fully embellished in crystals, and the crystals are arranged in a way that's meant to mimic exotic stingray leather. I really love how Louis Vuitton is experimenting with recreating exotic leathers using things like crystals and sequins. We also see it here on the Nano Capucine. This is a little more affordable at $6,600. And here again, we see the mimicking of animal skins. This is not really like an exotic skin like a python or a stingray, but it is meant to mimic fish scales, and this is using beads and sequins. This is the Sea Treasure Capucine Mini, priced at $8,600. What do you think of these types of bags where Louis Vuitton is using other materials to mimic exotic leathers? Moving on to the next collection, let's take a look at LV Knight. This was also released on November 3rd, and this is a collection mostly of bags, shoes, and ready-to-wear for your holiday evening looks. Here's the Pochette Accessoire. This was released in both fuchsia as well as silver sequins. You can really see how beautifully they reflect the light. Two other styles available in sequins were the Speedy Bandolier 18 in navy and fuchsia, as well as the Papillon pouch in silver. My personal choice for this collection is the Speedy B18. I love that it's a smaller size, but it does have the extended zipper on the side, so it's a little more accessible and easy to get your things in and out. I also really love the combination of this navy blue and fuchsia. I think these colors look really beautiful together. And I wish they had done a few more pieces in this colorway in this release instead of just the silver. Um, but speaking of silver, there's a lot of silver epi leather coming out. So let's take a look at those pieces. First, we had the Louise Pochette. This is available in both black and gold. That's in patent leather as well as in full silver, and that's an epi leather. The silver and the gold both have this removable strap on the inside, so I love it because you can convert it from a crossbody to a clutch. It also has these two tabs on the inside, so you could conceivably switch out the strap that the bag comes with and use a different strap instead. So there's a little bit of versatility there. Here we see the bag styled, and here's a closer look also at the side of the bag, so you can really see the construction of this piece. Here are the black and silver versions side by side, 
Personally, I prefer the black and gold version just because I like the visual interest of the black and gold together. However, we don't often see silver bags with silver hardware from Louis Vuitton. So if you are a silver lover, you may be interested to get that one. Before we move on from the Louise Pouchette, I do also want to show the back of the bag. There is a seam, but that is not a back pocket. Another re-release included in this collection is the Pochette Accessoire. This has been re-released in Epi Leather, which we haven't seen for a while. This is priced at $1,420. Here we see it in silver. This was also re-released in this collection in black Epi Leather as well. Same price and also with silver hardware which again, we don't see a lot in the women's line with silver hardware at Louis Vuitton. Here are all the angles of that bag. Now, let's talk about this. The pochette accessoire is a little bit bigger in the traditional monogram canvas as compared to the one in epi leather. Here are all of the measurements. You can also see the one in epi leather is a little bit more narrow at the top of the bag versus at the bottom. So it's a little bit of a different shape as well. If you are interested in this, I would highly recommend looking at the resale market. There are a ton of epi leather vintage pochette accessoires and they are way, way, way less expensive than $1,400. The Nano Alma was also released in new epi leather colors in this collection. Not black. It was already available in black. Now we have it in fuchsia. Here we see it priced at $1,820. This bag features silver hardware and a removable strap. It's also available in silver, again, for the same price that we just saw for the fuchsia version. I've also included the dimensions on screen. This is quite a tiny bag. Here I am holding the bag in store. We also have a modeling shot from a Louis Vuitton client advisor. And yes, this bag is coming in monogram canvas, as you can see modeled here. This will be available this month, November 11th in the USA. The worldwide launch will be in January, I believe. The price is $1,860 or €1,350. High-end leather bags in the LV Night Capsule include the Dauphine East West. This is slightly larger than the Mini Dauphine and slightly smaller than the Dauphine MM. Here are the dimensions on screen. This bag is priced at $4,550 or €3,700. I really love this bag. I especially love the beautiful detailed chain that you can see here. And even though it's expensive, it is pretty well priced compared to other limited and special edition Dauphines that we've seen released earlier this year. The last bag I'm going to highlight from the LV Night Capsule is this Kusan PM in a very beautiful pearlescent pink. And it features a very similar style chain as to what we saw on the Dauphine East West. Now let's move on to the next release and we saw a shimmery navy empreinte again also released on November 3rd. This included a series of small leather goods. Unfortunately no bags in this colorway but they featured this really beautiful crystal embellishment on all the pieces and I thought that was such a special touch so let's see what's available in this collection. There were several wallets available, including the Charms card holder, priced at $570, and the Victorine wallet, priced at $865. Those both feature that crystal embellished flower. For longer wallets, we have the Sarah, priced at $1,090, and the Zippy wallet, priced at $1,260. These are a little bit more expensive than the standard leather pieces in those styles. We also had a brand new wallet on chain released in this colorway. It's the new Walk 
Matisse, and this is priced at $1,920 US dollars or 1550 euro. This is a new shape. It's a little bit narrower on top, wider at the bottom. It reminds me of the shape of the epi leather pochette accessoire that we saw earlier in this video. The navy version is temporary. It will only be out for a few months. This is also coming in two permanent colors, cream and noir. If you're interested in this bag, I am putting the dimensions here on screen. I have not been able to see this bag in person as it was just released. However, if you've had a chance to see it or try it on, please do comment below and share your thoughts with us on this new walk. Louis Vuitton's By the Pool collection was released back in June, and now on November 10th, we are getting another small collection of bags in two new colorways, jade green and apricot. Let's take a look what's coming in apricot first. Here we see the Nano Noe. This is in coated canvas. This is priced at 2,100 US dollars. We will also be getting the Speedy Bandolier 25 in the On The Go MM in this colorway. There has been a price increase in the Speedy Bandolier 25 in By The Pool in the June collection. This was slightly less expensive. In the jade green color, we're getting the Neverfull MM priced at $2,480. And this is actually a price decrease in the June release. This was priced at $2,540. So I'm not sure why, but the price has been lowered on the Neverfull. The On The Go PM is also coming in jade green. This is priced at $3,350 which is the standard price, no change there. In jade green, we're also getting the Felici Pochette and the Pochette Matisse. I don't have a good photo of the Pochette Matisse in jade green yet, so here it is in blue. It will look just like this, but in green instead. I also wanted to quickly note that the price of the Felici Pochette has gone down as well. When this was released in By the Pool over the summer in June, the price was a little bit higher than now, so some interesting price adjustments to note. I also wanted to highlight a few new bags coming out this month that are not part of a particular collection. We have the Loop Hobo in Empreinte Leather as well as the Georges Tote. Let's start with the Loop Hobo. This has been previously released in Canvas. This was priced at $2,780. It's now coming in Empreinte Leather in Noir and Cream as seen above. Those are priced at $3,050. It's also coming in the Bicolor Empreinte in Turtle Dove, and that one is priced a little bit higher at $3,150. All three of the leather bags will feature the giant monogram print on the main bag, and they will all come with a removable pouch with the regular size monogram print. And here we see this modeled as part of a Louis Vuitton campaign. The second new bag that I wanted to highlight is the George's Tote, and this is part of the men's line. This is coming in two different colors, noir and khaki, in the MM size. This will be priced at $9,850. It is a very expensive bag. However, I do also want to note, this bag is huge. The smaller MM size is 41 centimeters in length. I've heard a lot of people compare this bag to the Birkin, mostly because it's a leather tote and it has the sangles across the front of the bag, which is very Birkin-esque. But if you were to compare this to a Birkin, it would be comparable in size to a Birkin 40. Here we can see the bag modeled and it is massive. I would not confuse this with a Birkin. So I think when you take this size into consideration, it is quite a different bag. As I mentioned earlier, this is also coming in a larger size. This is the George's Toe GM. The GM size is coming in noir only and is priced at close to $11,000. 
This bag is huge. It's 49 centimeters in length. That is one centimeter shorter than a Keep All 50. So this is a very large travel tote. This is not meant to be a purse. Here are some more detailed photos of the bag. You can see the interior as well as the back. And as you may have noticed in the modeling shot earlier, it does also come with a crossbody strap, which I think is a nice addition. So far, this bag has been pretty polarizing in the reviews I've seen of it already. I would love to know your thought on the new George's tote, so please do comment below and let us know. Moving on to the next collection, releasing towards the end of this month, we have the Lunar New Year collection. This is in celebration of the Chinese New Year. We are entering the Year of the Dragon. This is a very small collection compared to previous Lunar New Year collections. Let's start by looking at the women's items. First up, we have a few scarves. We have the Reykjavik scarf. This is priced at $995. It is very expensive, but it is one of the nicest scarves, very thick, soft, and luxurious. We also have the LV of Essential scarf with a matching beanie. The dragon design is much more subtle on those two pieces with just a single applique on the scarf as well as on the hat. There's also a few silk pieces available for this collection. We have the bandeau priced at $220. It is seen here in red, and it will also be available in beige as well. Personally, I prefer the red. I think that's a beautiful pop of color. There's also the Precious Dragon Silk Square. This is 90 centimeters, and it is priced at $485. Here you can see the different designs featured on the front as well as on the back of this silk square. There's also a shawl available. I don't know the exact size of this shawl, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it is 56 centimeters, and it will be priced at $720. Those are all of the items in the women's collection for Lunar New Year. Let's move on now and look at the men's side. Starting out with the Vivienne keychain. I think this is really cute, Vivienne riding on a little cartoon dragon. This is priced at $905. Pretty pricey for a keychain. The men's line will also feature a few pieces of fashion jewelry. On the right, we can see the LV Dragon Vivian pendant. This is priced at $925. There's also a dragon bracelet on the left side, and that bracelet will also have a matching necklace available. I don't have a price for the necklace or a photo of it, but it will look just like the bracelet, but longer. For the high-end pieces, we have a dragon box as seen on the left and a trunk pouch as seen on the right. These are both priced north of $2,000. Here's a closer look at that trunk pouch. It does open and it's functional, although I can't say I know how much you could really fit in there. There's also a closer look at the Year of the Dragon box. And again, this is also functional and it opens up. That's everything for the Lunar New Year collection this year. As I said before, it is quite small. Moving on now to the holiday packaging. Let's see what Louis Vuitton has in store for us this year. This year's theme will feature Vivian and she is on a journey going by truck and airplane. I guess delivering gifts. Here are some window displays that have already started going up at Louis Vuitton stores worldwide. I really love this year's window display. I think it's whimsical, it's fun, and it really captures the Christmas and holiday spirit. Now let's take a look at the holiday packaging. Here's one of the first holiday campaign photos that was released by Louis Vuitton where the packaging was revealed and it's red, white, and gold. Let's take a closer look at that bag now. We can see all of the letters of Louis Vuitton are wrapped up. The O has been transformed into a little box and Vivian sits on it. 
I really like this. I think it's very cute and whimsical. Let me know what you think of this holiday packaging. I would love to know, do you collect the packaging? Do you like what they've done with it this year? Now we are at the end of the year and moving into January. If you're not subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button right now because in two weeks, I will be previewing the January new releases. That will include the denim collection as seen here, as well as the new vernis pieces coming in yellow, blue, and pink. Again, these will all be dropping in January. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to come back every Friday for new videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.